We have fairly established financial markets that when you look at the exchange itself, the Nairobi Securities Exchange, um, has, in pl has been in place for more than 60 years already. Mm -hmm. um, and you add to that the depth and quality. When you look at um, what needs to happen vis-a-vis -vis the kinds of products that are available to help the banking system um, deleverage and you know create a bit more flexibility in their balance sheets. Mm -hmm. You know we have a fairly liquid banking um, system, but as the country grows, as for example you see mortgages mm -hmm. increasing, um, we need to make sure that they're appropriate products so the banks can securitize, take things off balance sheet, issue to the public, um, or where they need to increase their for example, tier two capital, right. they come to the capital markets. We have made very significant strides, for example, in strengthening corporate governance and transparency. We have released uh, a new corporate governance code just this year, which is very, um, if anything, at par with, if not more advanced than, uh, you know, the King Threes, the, um, the recent UK uh, code, the recent Indian and Malaysian codes, that mm -hmm. all of those were benchmarked against. Mm -hmm. And then now we made sure that we were uh, really applying the international best practice to the realities in Kenya mm -hmm. to really create as robust an environment for accountability, for transparency, and for um, effective risk management. The private sector institutions, although publicly held because they're listed, mm -hmm. um, they're still private sector institutions, mm -hmm. but they're being, we're all being held to the highest standards of, of governance and transparency. Still a lot, when you compare the size of the listed companies versus the size of the GDP and the economy, there's a lot more room for new companies to really come to the market and help to understand how they can better leverage. Mm -hmm. And for us, that's why corporate governance was so important. Go to the public markets. Definitely, it takes slightly more time because of the quality and depth of disclosure you need to make before right. you can go public, but then you get a significant discount at the rate you will raise. So they, they're making these decisions on a continuous basis, mm -hmm. and as we improve governance, we push for more independence on boards, more diversity on boards, then you have more voices who are able to look critically at the options available and then uh, explore companies coming right. public. How can we access the market? So that once you're in as a gem, you then have an opportunity to grow. Right. And you can move to the main market, you can move to the alternative market segment, and there's a very clear line for your long-term development. Mm -hmm. We introduced um, measures around making sure only professional investors can participate, that even though a development REIT is listed, it's listed on a restricted board of the exchange, so there are minimum uh, lot sizes for the transactions so that there's a presumption that anyone trading instruments in blocks of five million mm -hmm. have some level of uh, knowledge, awareness, or the ability to get professional advice before they go into an investment.